So now let's go ahead and implement the methods we created in our last video. So we're going to go to our action button pressed method. And when we press our action button, we want to update uh, based on our tile models, weapon or armor or health effect, our current character stats. So let's do CC tile and we'll set that equal to self.tiles object at index and we'll say self.current point dot x and we'll say object at index self dot current point dot y and this gives us our tile object back we've done this design uh, a few times already so we're indexing into our array and then once we get into the correct array then we're going to index into the correct object in that array which will give us our tile object back and then we can call the method self update character stats and what we'll do is we'll pass in the information from our tile which is our current tile so we can say tile dot armor and we can say tile dot weapon and we can say tile dot health effect and incidentally I'm scrolling through these different arguments using the tab key which is a pretty quick way to get to all the arguments and update them properly Finally, we want to update our tile with the new information, so we're going to do self update tile. And this is another great reason that we created this modularized method that we're able to use over and over and over again. This is why we abstracted it into its own spot. So that our action button now, when we press it, uh, and let's say I lose 10 health points, we'll be able to update that information properly in my view. Now there's one other thing we need to do before we go ahead and make our application work. And that's in view did load, we need to update our current character stats. So let's go ahead and use our method update character stats. So we can do self update character stats. And we're not going to pass in any new armor or weapons. We can set these all to nil. And we can say the health effect is zero. And using this, we'll be able to use that else statement we set up in update character stats here. And all it'll do is it'll update our health and our damage for our character based on the weapon and armor we started out with. So let's go ahead and run our application and see the results of all of our hard work. So we see now that we have take sword as our button name, take the sword. And if I take the sword, it's going to update my weapon as well as my damage. So let's see that. Oh, now I've blunted sword and my damage is 12. I can go ahead and navigate to a new area and I can pick up additional armor and I could take a pistol instead and let's say we get to this abandoned ship um, we know that we lose a ton of health because we're about to lose our whole ship to the Kraken so if I press abandon ship we see that my health takes a huge hit here and if I keep navigating through my application I'll eventually be able to find uh, different things to do inside of the app so let's say I stop the dock I'll get a health benefit here